Hello everyone and welcome. This is Baggins182 bringing you some tips and facts and a first look into the new snow map on PUBG Xbox titled Vikendi. This map has been anticipated for many months and it is finally here and it is all that we could have hoped for and more. Or is it? I will be going over some of my initial thoughts and observations so far on my first 10 hours of gameplay. First off, the map itself is amazing. The layout, the structure, the hills, the complexes, this map has it all. From mountain ranges to missile silos to amusement parks, creating a spectacular battle royale setting we will be enjoying for months to come. The Kendi is a 6x6 map, which is smaller than Arangal and larger than Sandhawk. But there has been one major change that creates a different flow that you feel from the other maps. That is the circles. The first circle, you may notice, will be smaller than on the other map's initial circles, which creates a sort of mad dash for the first play zone after the initial looting is done. But then they follow up by having all play zones after the first one not have such a drastic change, making it so no matter where you are, you can pretty much jog in with ease. This is an effort to spice things up for the mid-game and create more of a strategic base gameplay for final speaking of final circle there is no longer that long pause before the final circle moves in on itself be careful because when you're playing before you know it the circle closes in of course we need to discuss the new guns the g36c which has the appearance and size of an ump but shoots 556 this weapon replaces the scar for the map and has pretty much the same properties as the scar with a few minor differences one being the rate of fire, the other being the recoil as the result of the higher rate of fire. The reload time is also just a tiny bit longer, so just a few things to consider when choosing between the M4 on this new weapon. The Scorpion, which is an automatic 9mm pistol, but shoots more like Ump's poor cousin. Having this on your hip may be a chicken dinner saver when your AR runs dry and your secondary weapon is a bolt action. This map does not have the Mutant, the Thumb Grip, the Half Grip, or the Scar L, but it does have Snowmobiles and Level 3 Helmets, which spawn in like the good old days of PUBG Xbox. This will make it even harder for the Bolt Action Snipers to take you out. At times, it feels like everyone in the top 10 has a Level 3 Helmet. This map also includes footprints left behind on snow-covered areas, leaving you susceptible to being tracked and hunted down. I lost patience while waiting to see how long it took for footprints to disappear, but people on Reddit have speculated up to 15 minutes. The loot on this map is the most controversial. When the test server was first released to the PC world, I heard nothing but complaints regarding the loot and that the settings were terrible. I wouldn't say terrible, just different. Because you find plenty of weapons, it's just not the weapons you want to find. I hope you're a fan of the ump or other SMGs because when you land, this will likely be the first weapon you find, and after a few minutes of searching, you'll be able to find an AR. The larger issue is the DMR and snipers, which have become a lot more rare in this map, so get used to using an AR with a range scope. These are just a few of the things I've learned and picked up on my first few hours of gameplay. I hope you all enjoy and I wish you all a chicken-filled holiday season.